hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology again and will i have career progress will i have growth in career will i have a steady career path or is it filled with ups and downs all right so these these are some of the most frequently asked questions when it comes to career and yet i do not see people have a very clear answer regarding this well that's not the case with astrology because astrology offers very clear cut answers regarding questions for example at least for most of the questions of our life if may not be for every question because there are endless possibilities now regarding career when you say or when you ask this question will i have a steady career progress you really have to ensure that you check three things first you check the overall chart how is the overall chart for career then number 2 you have to check what is the strength of the mahadasha lords for the next 30 to 40 years so assuming that a person starts his or her career in around the age of 21 22 around that time uh, so 40 years down the line till uh, 62 roughly so for those 40 years we really need to check whichever mahadashas the person is running through all right after you check the majority of the planets which means after you uh, go to step 1 go from step 1 which was looking at all the planets what is the next thing that you need to do the third thing is you have to see the deshkal patra where is the person uh born what kind of a family is the person uh, being brought up in right so do not ignore deshkal patra it is very 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 crucial all right because let's assume um a person is born in a very rich family maybe uh he is born in a billionaire family then if that person his 10th house is activated then he will he will earn again in millions or in billions why because he is already starting from a different position and that may not be the case with every other person all right i am not saying that is good bad right wrong that's not the topic of today but the base from where a person starts is really very really important all right this is not to demean anybody who is starting from the grass and now uh you can flood the comment section by giving examples of thousand per uh, thousands of people or uh, scientists who made it big or bollywood stars or hollywood stars or politicians who were uh, starting from a poverty background i understand that and that's exceptionally great but you have to ask the question when we are uh doing astrological predictions or uh, when we are doing a consultation basically you you have to take the deshkal patra into consideration because most likely you uh, you will not find extreme charts all right even if they are there they may not come to you so astrology and the guidance should be offered for in in such a way that it works for 95% of the people 5% exceptions will always be there okay so now Mm, coming back uh, to the first criteria uh, the first step rather um, that you look at the overall chart okay so this is the uh, birth time of this person 15th of uh, february 1987 naigaum is the uh, birth place and the time of birth is 123 pm 1323 hours so if you look at this chart um of course uh, this is the lagna chart and i always say the uh, placement should be taken from the bhav chart but uh, for the simplicity of this video as usual i will assume that this itself is the bhav chart also okay otherwise most of you get confused where are the planets which houses which signs so let's assume uh, that mars is in the 12th house he is in aries okay but he may or he may not be in the 12th house he may also be in the 11th house or in the ascendant write it down in the comments where you think maybe mars is in his chart all right but for the simplicity of this video let's assume that mars is in the 12th house jupiter rahu in the 11th and respective all the other planets in the same houses as they are in the same signs all right and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him 
and if you are new to the channel then uh, please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me regarding your career or opportunities then please go to my website down in the description section now first things first let's check the ascendant you should always check start from the ascendant okay what's going on in the ascendant mm, where is uh, what's there in the ascendant there's no planet you see there right then what do you do you see what else is going on in the ascendant which, which means which planets are aspecting the ascendant okay so you see here saturn is directly aspecting uh, the ascendant from from the seventh house okay is there any other planet which is aspecting the ascendant not really so saturn is glancing in the ascendant which means he wants this person to be motivated by hard work right that's what an aspect does it gives you motivation basically so now we see that um, this person is born in rohini nakshatra which means uh, not the moon nakshatra here the ascendant nakshatra okay his moon is in purva falguni so technically his janma nakshatra is purva falguni but his ascendant nakshatra is rohini okay now rohini is related to lord brahma and the prajapati so this shows a lot of hard work and uh, the person liking stable income okay this person may not like income from uh, 10 different sources but the person may want to specialize in one area and be the best in that area now uh, where uh, where is the lagna lord placed the lagna lord is uh, placed in the uh, which house is he placed yes you're right he's placed in the ninth house okay now um, then uh, where is the nakshatra lord of uh, rohini placed okay who is the lord of rohini he's moon he's placed in the fourth house hmm so something to do with research and education we see in both these houses the fourth house and the eighth house now uh, what about um, the other planets where is sun placed now regarding career you have to check which houses are repeating in uh, most of the planets okay which means uh, where are these where where are most of the planets placed now you may say oh but uh, most of the planets all the planets are uh, in different houses here right one is in 12th one two are in 11 two are in 10th and you, you may say it's all dispersed how do we calculate i don't mean to say that you should check which trikona the planets are placed okay and if most of the planets are placed or they are lording the artha trikonas and the 11th house so artha trikonas are the second house the sixth house the 10th house and of course 11th house is a kama house but it is a labha sthan so it shows profits so if most of the planets are linked with these four houses then we can assume that the person has a very strong chart when it comes to career and finances all right <clears throat> and indeed this person has a very strong career uh, in the academic field and this person is very big uh, is uh, starting his own company uh, he is uh, currently in a quite uh, quite a good position and uh, yeah this person is really earning very very good now the thing is if you check uh, let's begin from the sun what about sun where is he he is uh, which house is he lording he is lording the fourth house in the four, fourth lord he is the fourth lord and he is in the 10th house okay so we see the connection of the 10th house here okay now he himself is in the 10th house excellent for career name fame power position authority benefits from the king which is the government today and uh, where is which nakshatra is he placed you have to check this okay so uh, he is in dhanishta nakshatra and dhanishta is lorded by mangal mars where is mars placed he is placed in the 12th house um, and he is the 12th lord and which other house is mars ruling he is placed in the 7th house uh, he is the lord of the 7th house i mean now the 7th house is not directly a house of name fame but indirectly it can be because 
it is when you do collaborations the seventh house alone cannot make you famous don't be in this illusion that you have four planets in seventh house and you'll become like world famous or don't think you are seventh house is empty and you'll never become famous it's not like that the seventh house can make you famous provided it is linked with the second house sixth house tenth house and the eleventh house the difference between the sixth and the seventh is in sixth house you are doing job which means you are doing it alone but in the seventh house you are doing collaboration okay so therefore if seventh lord is in the tenth or tenth lord is in the seventh for example then during the dasha of the seventh lord or the tenth lord whichever is linked with the seventh house and the tenth house both it can make you very famous by doing collaborations okay the joint ventures mergers all this okay very 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 important house so now here we see sun is in the 10th house and mars is in the seven, mars is the 7th lord so there you see now but mars is in the 12th house so this means uh, mm, that uh, this will push him towards uh, doing some investments for his business because 12th house shows expenditure if it is in a bad shape then it shows losses okay but this is 12th lord in 12th so it will not show losses it will only show expenditure in accounts of his business now what about moon where is moon placed moon is the third lord in the fourth house excellent for social media work and education uh, he's in purva falguni purva falguni is lorded by venus venus is the lagna lord and he's in the eighth house well not a very great placement i would say but it's decent i would call it or maybe it's on the lower end all right now what about mars mars is in the 12th house he is again lording the 12th and he is linked with the um, 7th house all right and if you check um, where is mars placed his Mar mars is in uh, ashwini nakshatra okay now ashwini uh, is ruled by ketu okay now what about ketu ketu is being aspected by jupiter as the 12th lord from the 11th house so ketu will also give results of the 11th house of jupiter i mean because if you go back to my rahu ketu video then rahu ketu gives results of planets which aspect them okay so jupiter aspects ketu so he is giving results of 11th house also because jupiter is the 11th lord in the 11th house so now mangal is also giving results of the 11th house because his nakshatra lord signifies the 11th house uh being in being himself in the 12th house so this can again result in a lot of expense for his business now what do you mean expense so this means he's spending a lot of money but he's gaining much more than that all right then what about mercury the karaka of the 10th house is placed in the 10th house very powerful position mercury in the 10th house fantastic position where is he placed in uh, aquarius he is placed in shatabhisha nakshatra which is ruled by rahu where is rahu he is again in the 11th so this is the best placement for mercury 10th uh, being in the 10th and his nakshatra lord being in the 11th like this there cannot be any better position for mercury than this so mercury represents skill uh, ability to grasp things ability to know the uh, how the market will perform uh, which side is the market going um, by market i don't mean stock market but your client base what do they want what will they like okay now then uh, where is jupiter jupiter he is the 11th lord in the 11th house can't get better than this but he's the 8th lord so this can show uh that uh, he he's gaining a lot from his relatives and family members and in-laws which means they are pouring their money into his business eighth lord in the 11th 11th lord in the eighth okay and now uh, he he is in pisces in purva bhadrapada nakshatra okay purva bhadrapada is ruled by jupiter himself okay so the nakshatra lord he is himself and he is again in the 11th house so fantastic this is like mind blowing out of the world okay now what about venus venus is the lagna lord sixth lord in the eighth not a very good placement in purva shada which is his own nakshatra again not a very good placement so during venus dasha he will really have challenges and he can also have depression with this placement 
anyways now let's let's go to saturn where is saturn he is in the seventh house again the house of name fame but the seventh house alone cannot make you famous but in this case it will because he is the 10th lord you see this aquarius here he is the 10th lord so guaranteed and he is also the 9th lord 9th lord in the 7th 10th lord in 7th this is like a very beautiful placement right lord of uh, kendra uh, uh, sorry lord of a trikon Uh, which is the ninth lord sitting in a tri uh, in a kendra house trikona lord in kendra it's a very powerful placement uh which nakshatra is he placed he is in jeshtha nakshatra which is the nakshatra of mercury mercury is himself in the 10th house fantastic this is out of the world fifth lord in the 10th second lord in the 10th you see mercury is the second and the fifth lord in the 10th can't be better than this Now what about Rahu Rahu he is himself in the 11th house and uh, he also gives results of Jupiter because he is conjunct Jupiter is any other planet aspecting Rahu well not really so therefore he will be giving results of the 8th house and the 11th house and that means again the uh the family members and in-laws will start pouring in their uh, their money into his business okay Uh, where is he placed? He is in Revati Nakshatra again, lorded by Mercury, second lord, fifth lord in the tenth house. Fantastic! This is. Now, what about last? The K, uh, the planet Ketu, he is again aspected by the eleventh lord. Fantastic! This is again eighth lord in the eleventh aspecting Ketu. So Ketu, Dasha will also force or rather inspire his relatives to put money in his business. Then you have. Ketu being in Hasta Nakshatra, Hasta is ordered by the Moon, and is also well placed in a Kendra Moon. If you see, is also in Digbala. Okay, now uh, this is something which I forgot to tell you. Sun, Moon, both are in Digbala here. Okay, extremely powerful. So here you see uh, the first criteria that we had is uh, the overall chart is very strong. Okay. but then we go to the second right uh, second step the second criteria which is we check the mahadashas okay or uh, what about the next uh, mahadasha so currently if you check he is running the mahadasha of mars which is almost about to be over then he is going to run rahu then jupiter and saturn till line till 2074 so he will be of the age of 80 or 90 around that time okay so Yeah, so till then we can check his Mahadashas. Okay, at least till seventy seventy five we should check. So that means we need to check Rahu, Jupiter, and Saturn. Okay, so we already saw Rahu. Uh, he is uh, in the eleventh with the eleventh Lord and the eighth Lord. Oh, uh, fantastic! This is so people will pour in uh, their money. Uh, his relatives, all right. and which nakshatra is rahu in revati so 10th house so he will be um, uh, revati is lorded by mercury who is in the 10th so he will be in a big managerial position and he will have lot of earned um, sanchit dhan as you say na savings because mercury is the second house fantastic this is then jupiter jupiter himself is in the 11th and he is in his own nakshatra so again and what about uh saturn saturn as we saw he is in jeshtha nakshatra again lorded by mercury so these three mahadashas will ensure that he is rising rising and rising consistently so this is like steady career growth okay over a period of 30 40 years now the third thing is desh kal patra that you have to follow now that's very important because that will tell you from where the person is starting <coughs> well in this case the person uh he was born in a upper middle class family in india and uh, both of his parents were actually doctors so so by that you can identify these placements like uh, you know moon in the fourth third lord in the fourth like um no fifth lord in the tenth so fifth lord conjunct the sun can sometimes tell you or show your ancestral lineage uh, to what they are linked with all right so so because of this 
by default in his genes in the dna the quest for knowledge and uh, education is very high so that means this person um because of the culture from his home and from his parents will rise can rise much higher in the educational sector compared to any normal person because this person will likely gain so much from his mother and father both of them okay in terms of education and this person is currently in india he is working towards a startup related to education that's what he is doing okay so why why is he doing this because of course the chart is very strong indeed and he has this culture i am not meaning some dogmatic caste uh, system here but that's the culture you know so he has always been studying from his childhood you know, not like traditional education but newspaper or you know magazines uh, not uh, vulgar magazines of course but uh, magazines which give him knowledge of finance education how is the world moving where is india moving and all this all right so therefore this chart is very powerful so all the three is ensuring that this person will have consistent rise in his career okay so therefore check the overall chart then you check the mahadashas and then you check uh, which what kind of a background is this person into okay let's assume that this person uh, had uh, their mother father as teachers but wanted to start off in bollywood then he would have to start from scratch because there's nobody to back him right but in his case this is not uh, that's not true in his situation because he's into education and he already had a lot of contacts from his father and his mother and they have also helped him you see eighth lord in the 11th other people coming and just uh, opening their pockets in front of you they have helped him managerially financially and even from an educational standpoint all right so he has that base which is required so that's like an added advantage okay so that will be all from my side thank you very much for your patience if you want to see other videos on career i'll put them here hopefully down right or left <laughs> and if you want a consultation from me you can go down to my uh, website which is which you will find in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him